Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another MCW Digital Media Match. Just like last week, this week we are letting the free agents run a little while, except for these free agents are not your usual free agents. These are the wrestlers of AWE. The invites have been passed out to them, and they have been accepted, so let's let those wrestlers run a little while, right before they make their start in Season 4. No time like the present. Let's let them let loose here tonight. Or even in their arena. Make them feel at home. Make everything feel a little bit better for them. Make it feel more, a little more, more comfortable with a different style of announcing and everything, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the old country. Weighing in at 215 pounds. One half of the action champions, Max. As we pointed out, when Tanuki came out to that Feels Good Man match, wearing those pink overalls, the commune has infected MCW. Max making his way down, holding on those AWE championship belts. It's ominous. It's scary. It's just, you know, something you don't expect. Quite frankly, it's one of those things where it's like we expected a lot of crazy things to happen here tonight, but seeing the AWE championships on MCW property just feels surreal in a way. Guys, remember, these are not being defended in, a in MCW in any shape and or form. He just has them with him. I mean, they're his property. I mean, you're allowed to bring it wherever he wants, right? Proto Shield, ready to go here tonight. Wait, what's this? Pro To Shield. This man getting behind the crowd like crazy. If you miss AWE this past Wednesday, the last week and everything, you miss Proto Shield Anxiety Sloth have a banger of bangers. That's right. I said Anxiety Sloth's name a little early. I don't care. Banger of bangers inside the Hell in a Cell. Well, mostly happened outside of Hell in a Cell and on top of Hell in a Cell, less inside of Hell in a Cell. End of the day, though, Proto Shield ready to start MCW. His career here ready for a war. Max standing there, waiting. Look at this man go. He's close to breaking dress code, but he, he didn't break it, fortunately. Fortunately for all of us. Guten Bronken, making his way down the ring, cruiserweight champion. It's weird, MCW doesn't have a cruiserweight division technically. Everyone has free game across everyone. There is no limits to what you can do, especially no weight limits, because weight limits suck. They suck. But Guten ready to let it looser tonight. The goose is loose, more like the Guten is loose. Or, yeah. I nailed that correctly. And from Shreveport, Louisiana, weighing in at 230 pounds, Ryan! Ryan just got out of work and he just clocked in and started kicking some ass. Ryan making his way down the ring. Blue shirt, blue tie, and a watch? This man looks fancy as fuck. You would think that a member of the MCW accounting team actually just went, went down to the ring. But it's not, uh, it's, 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 it's Ryan. I don't know what he does exactly, but it's fancy as fuck. He's ready to have a good time here, not kicking people's asses. I hope to God he takes off the shirt and tie before the match ring, before the bell starts. Because uh, I don't, I don't want anybody to die of heat while they're wrestling. That'd be a little awkward. 
I feel like that'd be really hot to wrestle in. I mean, it's, oh, there we go. Okay, that, there we go. That makes sense. Dressing all suit pants, though. And from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 198 pounds, Fabulous Noah Tonga. Better than Tonga. The high flyer from out of nowhere. Can he do some high flying things? The man wants action. The man wants violence. Fortunately, the violence could be a, a, a minimum. I mean, I guess it is an eight man match, so there are no disqualifications. So we could potentially see a lot of weapons here. Some of which might be brought out by Barra himself. Flying through the air, ready to go. He's ready to make a statement here tonight. Already reaching for a brass ring that, that it's not there. There's no brass rings. No brass rings here. No brass rings, unfortunato, for Mr. Baranatoge. It's an exhibition, ladies and gentlemen. It's a chance for our, our MCW general managers to see and new superstars. Jay Nasty, and as we saw from this past Saturday night on MCW Live the Sky, it looks like the Clown World Order is officially trying to take over. Just like the commune, the, the, the commune and Clown World Order, they're gonna have a fight in MCW now. Oh man, the clowns and the and and, and the people from Wyoming, the family of Wyoming, the inbred monsters of Wyoming are going to have a war at MCW. I can already feel it. Regardless, Jay Nasty will do whatever it takes to get a victory. There is no limits for Jay Nasty. Jay Nasty only has one thought on his mind. Pain, hurt, kill. And clowns. There's, I guess there's like a lot of things on his mind, actually. Not just one. Good censorship by the ring rope. Uh, don't look at his ass. A little weird though, that you guys thought you'd look at his ass there. You really thought you were going to get an ass shot. You were wrong. You were wrong. Uh-oh. We spoke of her earlier. And from the old country, weighing in at 158 pounds, one half of the action champions, Eric Hobbin Slugger. Anxiety Sloth or Erica depending on how we feel like calling, coming out to ready to go. Like you see, the AEW Filthy Annals tag team titles with Max, but also a hardcore champion in AWE. Erica is Erica two belts. I believe she's also Erica three belts, but I forget what the third belt that she may or may not own is. But for now, we know the commune likes gold. And that commune will have no issues trying to take as much gold quickly in MCW. Again, remember those titles are not on the line in MCW. They are exclusively defended in AWE as vice versa for MCW wrestlers not defending their titles in AWE. Unless given ex explicit, you know, written cause and reason, which I we, we, we don't have it yet. Give it time. Unfortunately, that's all the AWA wrestlers. However, there's one more wrestler returning here tonight. From another time, weighing in at 472 pounds, Montgomery Garrett. If you are a fan of MCW, you remember season one and season two, the Gator. The Gator has returned, but unfortunately, his face is mangled. His last fight, the trial of the gods, left him with a broken face. And now he's back. Slightly repaired. Slightly ready to destroy anything in his path. I don't want to be any of the, a the a a a AWE wrestlers right now. The Gator's probably still pissed off about how his match ended in Season 2. His Season 2, I don't remember very well because, you know... But frankly, it was... 
mostly in the shadow of Meta Moment. And he looks jacker than ever. Oh my god, is he getting, has he gotten bigger? Has the Gator gotten even bigger? It's scared to think that the Gator might have even potentially gotten even bigger. He's been working out. He's been juicing, dude. He's been taking the juice. I feel sorry for all of the AWE wrestlers as the bell has rung. And you instantly see Erica trying to take on the Gator. The Gator standing tall over everyone. Meanwhile, Guten throwing Jay Nasty. And now we got ourselves a little bit of a dance. Max laying down in the corner. Brian slapping Erica's chest. And now quickly the Gator just proving. Oh, how dominant he really is. Wrenching the arms of oh my god! AWE, welcome to MCW as they quickly learn the Gator has a mind of its own. Max doing some crazy handwork. The Bear now fighting back quickly. Combination of moves and looks like got a pin attempt. Ryan trying to pin Goot early, trying to end this before we see what the AWE wrestlers can even do. Oh, Proto, no, taking down Jay Nasty. But Jay Nasty, like we said, has no qualms with Corey with violence. Oh, gosh. Gator Bomb as there's a baseball bat in play. Erica now mounting on top of Guten and just letting loose. Baron Pro. Okay, Barrow back inside. Proto, though, still on the outside, getting back in. And looks like uh, Max on the shoulders of Gator, and Gator trying to fight through Barrow. Went for a pin, but not even a one count. But Max drop kicking the Gator quickly and surely. And now quickly tag team partners. Oh man, Max. Max made a choice attacking Erica here tonight. And oh gosh, and sticking to it. As Barra gets that shoulder tackled down by Ryan. Look at this, Ryan staying on top of Barra. And now Ryan wants to go after Max. But Proto wants Brian. Said Brian, it's Ryan, not Brian. Brian, Guten taking the Gator down, taking the Gator down to Guten Town. Oh God, Guten has steel steps, and he doesn't have them anymore. Never mind, he put him down, and he picked him right back. And he played, dropped him because the Gator grabbed him. Oh God, the Gator's gonna make Guten pay for that. Meanwhile, in the ring, you got Max and Jay Nasty, the clown, right after the commune. Kind of makes sense, and Eric, I'm saving. Wait. Erica didn't save it actually. Oh. Erica missed by, well, you can only imagine it's inches. As Max rewind Rana onto Proto and Jay Nasty staying on top of the cop. Yeah, remember, Jay Nasty's only one member of the Clown World Order. Kailuya is another one. And then after that, you have yourselves a Christopher. The Clown World Order is only one man right now, while the commune has two. This is, the, this is the most disadvantaged the Clown World Order has ever had. Quickly though, Max taking down Jay Nasty. Trying to keep the Clown underground. Beautiful stunner, wheelbarrow stunner. I don't know what the Gator just did to Guten, but it happened. As Proto takes Erica down with that interesting takedown move. Max, though, staying on top of Jay Nasty. We're focusing on what's in the inside of the ring because, oh, it potentially has a chance to end this entire match. Jay Nasty just keeping on top of Max like there's no tomorrow. Oh, God, Max is bleeding. Max is pouring out blood. Erica, though, right after Barra. Barra's in trouble, but Barra fighting out of it. As the Gator returns to the ring, Guten rolled into the ring. Looks like I got four on the outside, four, okay, three on the inside, five on the outside. The Gator doesn't like it when I tell. Okay, and Erica changed that for us. It's Erica. Oh, wait a minute. Is in trouble. The Gator. Oh, wait. She reversed. The reverse of a reverse to a reverse. Oh, Barra. Barra, shake and roll. It is bouncing off the ropes and a beautiful Pele off the ropes. Max, up he goes. Down taking Barra. Yo, is this this game squad times? Wait, oh. 
Well, that was, oh gosh, oh, I'm getting dizzy. Uh oh, Erica just got slammed down by Ryan. Oh. Oh God, the Gator with a Samoan drop. And that was Spear. The Gator wants to just hurt everyone in his path. Uh-oh. Another Samoan drop. It's over. The Gator wins. Oh God, Erica had one final word for Ryan though. The Gator proving why MCW veterans may have a leg up inside this square circle. The Gator just started racking up attack after attack and everybody got distracted. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for yet another MCW Digital Media Match, the special AWE edition. If you have not given another charity event a uh, look at on Twitch, you should give them a look. They do a lot of great things for a lot of great causes. But you know, check them out. But until next time, still Ginger Ninja BMF, and you guys are still beautiful as fuck, regardless of what I just said there. I never said, wow, I'm changing up the outro. Okay, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.